Page 70. Unit 7. Get ready. Words. A. Listen and say the words. Then read and listen to the sentences. Race. Drift. Glide. Wade. Paddle. Dive. Splash. Propel. Float. Sprint. Jog. Plod. One. He raced to school because he was late. Two. The clouds drift slowly across the sky. Three, the fish glides smoothly through the water. Four, the boy waded into the shallow water in the lake. Five, she paddled her rowboat down the river. Six, my sister can dive into the deep water, but I can't. Seven, the kids splashed water on each other. Eight. The whale uses its tail to propel itself through the water. Nine. He floated on his back in the pool. Ten. She sprinted to the finish line to win the race. Eleven. For exercise, Jen jogs every morning in the park. 12. The old horse plodded slowly down the road. Page 72. Read. Magdi and the Dolphin. Magdi looked out of the window and saw clear blue skies. Yes, he shouted. It's a beautiful day. I can go fishing. Hi, Dad. Bye, Dad. It's a beautiful day. See you later, shouted Magdi. He was so excited that he was speaking very, very fast. He sprinted out of the house with his fishing rod. What did he say? asked his sister as she plodded slowly towards the window to look out at him. He said that it was a beautiful day for fishing, chuckled Magdi's dad with a big smile on his face. He's always happy when he goes fishing. Magdi raced to the beach and untied his little red fishing boat. Maybe today I'll catch a fish for dinner, he thought. He waded out into the warm blue water, pushing the boat until it floated. Then he jumped into it and paddled towards some rocks. Magdi looked over the side of the boat and saw a lionfish. He knew that lionfish were very dangerous. They could sting you. Magdi sat and watched quietly as it dove under the boat and disappeared under a rock. Next, he saw a parrotfish with its shiny blue, purple and green scales gliding through the water. Parrotfish are tasty, he thought. Maybe today I'll catch a parrotfish. Magdi put a piece of bread on the hook of his fishing rod and threw the fishing line into the water. 
Then he threw more bread into the water to attract the fish. Suddenly, hundreds of fish swam up to the boat. There were bright yellow fish, black and white fish that looked like zebras, fish with long noses, and big fat puffer fish. Magdi knew all their names. He beamed with delight. Maybe I won't catch any fish today, he thought. They're beautiful. Maybe today I'll just watch them. Magdi pulled his paddles into the boat, turned onto his stomach to watch the fish, and fell asleep in the warm sun. Magdi woke up feeling chilly. Looking up, he saw black skies. Big waves were shaking his little red fishing boat, and it was drifting out to sea. Two of Magdi's friends, Malik and Ali, were jogging along the beach. They looked scared. Hey, Magdi, Magdi, they shouted. Come back, there's a storm. Their words floated across the water, carried by the wind. What did you say? Magdi yelled. We said there was a storm, shouted Malik and Ali. Come back! Uh-oh, thought Magdi. He tried to paddle towards the beach, but the waves pushed him further away. A huge wave crashed onto his boat, throwing him into the water. Oh no, help, help, Magdi cried. But just at that moment, he felt something under the water. A very big something. Then, to his surprise, he was moving through the waves at high speed, heading straight for the beach. He looked down and saw a beautiful, grinning face. It was a dolphin. The dolphin splashed and jumped through the water, carrying Magdi on its back. The dolphin used its powerful tail to propel its body through the water. When they got to the shallow water, the dolphin dropped Magdi on the sand and then swam up and down in front of him. Thank you, my friend, whispered Magdi. Every day afterward, Magdi and the dolphin played in the ocean. The dolphin taught Magdi tricks, such as how to dive deep down to the ocean floor, how to float, how to glide through the water, and how to stay away from a storm. Page 75. Grammar in Use. D. Listen and read along. Then check the correct answer. I'm going fishing. Okay, I'll tell Mom. What did he say? He said that he was going fishing. Oh, no, he isn't. It's time for school. Page 76. 
Listening. A. Listen and circle the words you hear. Compare your answers with a partner. Where do humpback whales live? Humpback whales live in all the oceans of the world. They communicate with each other over very long distances. To do this, they sing a song. Scientists discovered the song of the whale about 50 years ago. How long is each song? Each song usually continues for between 8 and 15 minutes. Do all whales sing the same song? Think about the countries that are in and near the North Pacific Ocean. There are whales in Japan, whales in Mexico, whales in Hawaii, and whales in the Philippines. All these whales sing the same song. But in different oceans, the whales sing different songs. For example, whales that live in the Pacific Ocean sing their song. Whales that live in the Atlantic Ocean sing another song. How far can the song travel underwater? A whale can hear another whale singing from thousands of kilometers away. Do all humpback whales sing? No. Male whales sing, but females do not. Page 76. Speaking. C. Learn. Asking for clarification. When you're listening and speaking, you can ask someone to explain things. Use questions such as, What do you mean? Can you explain that? What happened? And how did that happen? To ask for more information. When I was five, I fell out of a tree. How did that happen? I was climbing the tree with my brother. Suddenly, a branch broke. When I was younger, I was afraid of the water. What do you mean? I didn't know how to swim then. Now I swim all the time. Page 77. Word study. D. Listen and say these words. Underline the silent GH sounds. 1. Cough. 2. Tough. 3. Though. 4. Through. 5. Fought. Six, rough. Seven, enough. Eight, high.